fight the WBO World Super Middleweight title defense by Chris Eubank against Ireland's Steve Collins. The first world title fight ever in these parts. The biggest fight they'd seen around here before this. We're told 1942, the Irish middleweight champion Pat O'Connor met Mossy Condon. They're doing the wave. They sold that fight as the Clouton Celt from County Cork against the Blarney Tiger. Well, this one sells itself, but just in case in the build-up, Chris Eubank, as only he seems capable, did add to the spice by condemning his opponent, Steve Collins, for using a hypnotist in the preparation. We've heard once from Eubank last night. Gary Norman got words with Eubank today. There is normally you can assimilate an opponent. Do you feel, although you've obviously know Collins, that you're not quite sure what you're getting in the ring with tonight? But that's why I'm afraid. That's why um, I wanted to call the fight off. That's why I would call the fight off if I could now. Because I'm going into unknown territory. The 43 fights I've had in the past, I've always known what I was dealing with. I don't know what I'm dealing with tonight. I'm fighting someone who is mechanically... Uh, orientated and that is just an unknown area it's not fair that i should be put into the situation um coward you've seen what i've done in the past i've proven what my heart is you know as i said to you before i don't want another man uh, fathering my children because i'm not capable you know the worst thing that can happen to me is another man to father my children Do you understand that is the worst the only way that i could accept that is if i was in my grave so for once, Chris Eubank, although you're always a little bit sort of reverent of your opponent and a little bit fearsome, there is a little bit of genuine fear, I sense. There's always a genuine fear, but this, this is the type of fear I don't understand. Normal fear, uh, I understand getting into a ring with a man who is trained to be uh, the best he can be, um, but under hypnosis, basically he will be more mentally. I mean, and... If you talk to anyone in the business, you, you'll get to understand that it's 85% mental. Because it's only endurance. You know, how, uh, how, how far will I go? What am I prepared to put up with? How much punishment am I prepared to put up with? Now, if, you, if, if mentally you are uh, in a trance, or every time you should stop, you're going to keep on going, what's going what's to happen? There has to be a line drawn here. And, and this is why I'm, I'm taking up to the Board of Control and the PBA. This, this is wrong. But in your own mind, you're 100%, everything's been fine. Oh, yeah. We'd expect 100% sure. from Christopher. Of course, yeah. Yeah. you'll get 100% from me. But you'll get more so now because, you know, you know, a very specific provocation has been given. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm in that corner. If I walk away from the fight now, they say, well, you're a coward. Or they say that, you know, you, you, you have no more credibility. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't be in that ring tonight. This is wrong. This is unfair. That's legal cheating. It's not right. I don't think he was joking. The strength of opinion from the Eubank side seems pretty clear. But what about Collins? Well, today he has refused to mention the word hypnotist to us. But Gary Norman did get a brief moment with him earlier. Steve, uh, I know you very well and I've never seen you as intense as I have over the past few days. How are you feeling now? Basically, I'm prepared for this fight better than I've ever prepared for a fight in my entire career. Mentally and physically, I'm ready. And what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to win. New challenge. Well, that is in earnest, isn't it, Steve Collins? It's been a long road for him to this night. His disappointments along the way, well, there have been one or two. He's fought for world titles before and lost mm -hmm. in the middleweight division before he became a WBO world middleweight champion, Barry. Is it all been brewing up and all the frustrations and setbacks that Collins has had along the road, is it all been building towards one fantastic night tonight for him? Of course uh, he's, he's been building up. and He's had, uh, even though he won the title, he had almost a year of... He, the, the, the fight in Hong Kong fell through, the fight in Boston fell through. He's got a pent-up aggression. He, re he really wants to focus it tonight and make this occasion, which is a fantastic occasion, an opportunity for him to remember for the rest of his life. But I'm going to tell you something. In there, it's like an oven. It's so hot in here and it's so hot in there. The heat is incredible. Condition is going to play an incredible part in this fight. And if you bank, and I watched him during the commentary there, 
he didn't seem to be really focused. Well, we'll come back to you, Bank, in just a moment. First, can I mention the word emotion, which was such a big feature of your own performances in the ring at world level. But does it always work to the advantage of the man with the big support? Emotion and the crowd, I like to compare them with fire. If you use fire properly, it can heat your house, it can heat the water. If you can't control it, it burns the house down. And that's, uh, th that's similar to being able to control the crowd. What are the tactics that Collins must employ in the ring? Collins has got to get off with one or two punches, then he's got to fall back out and allow Eubank to come at him. Eubank falls over himself when he comes at you. He's not a good offensive fighter. He's a good defensive fighter, but Collins must not be falling into the trap of following him around the ring, because sooner or later he's going to get nailed. And uh, Eubank's got a great chin, but he's very bad at offensive fighting, and Collins has got to try and work on that end and the things. He's got to jab him, move back, and allow Eubank to fall over himself and then quickly kind of punch him away. Now for Eubank, he's had a bit of a rest in, in relative terms between the last performance against Wharton, which was a thrilling performance, and this one. Can he do it? I, th I think he can. Uh, I think he can. He's got the ability to pull these uh, fights out of the bag in really difficult circumstances. This is going to be a tough one tonight, and I think he can just about scrape home. Well, thanks very much to Barry McGuig, and I hope very much you're enjoying a fantastic atmosphere here in the arena. Let's get down to...